Right, what is going on team now? Welcome back to another YouTube video. First of all, I want to say a massive thank you for tuning in to the last video, the US Navy SEAL Challenge. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it because it's probably one of the most fun videos that I have ever done. Uh, definitely a big challenge and I want to get involved with more of those. So first of all, comment below what you want to see me do next when it comes to a challenge. Give the video a like, subscribe to me. Now I've covered that. What we are going to do by popular demand is show you a minimal kit workout. Now we are going to be using the sandbag. I'm going to show you a strongman circuit that includes five exercises. Now this is something when I first transferred over from like bodybuilding more heavy to a little bit more functional training in CrossFit, it really helped me build a little bit of anaerobic and aerobic capacity, okay? Because sometimes your heart rate's gonna be sky high and sometimes you just need to grab a bag and walk with it, okay? Grunt work. And anyway, this built a lot of work capacity for myself. So I'm gonna show you a five part circuit today. There's five exercises, we're gonna do five rounds. You're gonna rest exactly the same amount of time as it takes you to do a round. And I'm gonna get Joe behind the camera involved as well. So we're gonna get cracking on with that. Just a quick one. This bag is from wolversonfitness.com. Um, I think that's what wolversonfitness.com. I'll tag it here anyway. Uh, they supply all my home workout kit. A lot of you have been asking where I get some of my uh, stuff that I have in the garage at home and where I supply most of the stuff in Sculpt. And that is it. The majority of the stuff has came from Wolverson. So go and check them out. But anyway, let's get started with the strongman workout today. Come on, that's good. I'm useless to this. How do you feel? You alright? I'm definitely back behind the camera with this. Fuck. <sighs> Me. So basically that was around about a 20 minute partner AMRAP, okay? So I was doing around like just under two minutes, something like that. And then Joe was taking a little bit longer. 10 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna show you some quick tips for the sandbag. So things that like I think about, even when I'm out of breath, that makes the job so much easier, that 
I didn't tell you any tips because I want you to go back and see the difference of how I do it on purpose. So the first thing is, right, with a sandbag straight away, right, if you tip the sand to one side, and instead of trying to just pick it up, right, what I'm doing is I'm getting that hand under and I'm tipping all the sand onto that forearm before picking it up, catching my breath there, and then throwing it over, right? Which is much easier than just trying to pick it up like that because you've just got your fingers in, whereas if you can get your hand under and push all the sand on one hand, much stronger position. Now the second thing, little tip, I would squat. Like if I was squatting normally, I'd probably squat there, okay? If I was back squatting or front squatting, whereas with a sandbag, I'm going slightly wider and I'm pushing my toes out because it's gonna decrease the range of motion. So I'm not having to travel as far, but also the sandbag's not getting in the way of me. So once I get that up, instead of being my normal squat stance, I'm a little bit wider and I'm thinking about decreasing that range of motion, driving my knees out so the bag's there rather than feeling like it's in the way of my legs. Okay, and the last one, last little quick tip is when you are picking the bag up for the farmer's walk is getting it up the same, but having it nice and high on my chest here which is nice and strong on the upper back. Because if you have it here, it's pulling you down. It's putting too much pressure on your lower back and all the blood's going there. And you're just gonna burn out. Whereas if it's nice and high here, I can bear hug. Instead of being like this, I'm locking the arm and the hand on there and I can stay there for way longer. Because I'm locked in, my upper back's nice and tight and I can walk for ages, which is much more efficient on your cardiovascular system. So that is a workout that you can do. Either grab a partner and torture them if you've got a sandbag. I really like the sandbag. It's one of my favorite bits of equipment because it's so simple. Um, I've taken it to car parks before and done quick workouts. I've taken it in the garage at home and done like farmer's walk, run 200 meters farmer's walk. There's loads and loads I've got. I'll put some on if you want them. Um, or drop me a message and I'll find you some workouts in. But that is, Really quick fire, five round um, exercise, sandbag, work, sandbag workout. Like I said one more time, the bag is from Wolverson Fitness if you wanna try and check it out, but there's loads of companies that do them as well. Um, and yeah, apart from that, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Lots of love, see you in the next video.